Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video here showing you my new favorite way to burn the bootloader into the AT Mega 328. Uh, and for those of you who are new at the Arduino game and are wondering what the bootloader is used for, uh, well, let's say that you buy the Arduino board, uh, you learn everything about it, and then somewhere along the way, you figure out that you can lift the chip off of the board and run it right on a breadboard with a standalone Arduino circuit, and you can program sketches into it with a USB to serial converter. Uh, and then you go online and you find that uh, you can buy this chip directly from DigiKey or Mauser or SparkFun or Adafruit or whatever. And so you buy a whole tube of these and you've got a whole bunch of them. You go to throw the chip then into the breadboard and you find that when you upload your sketch, you get all kinds of errors. Uh, and that's because you need to burn a special Arduino bootloader into the chip so that you can program it via the USB to serial converter from the Arduino IDE. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. So um, I've programmed hundreds of uh, bootloaders. Uh, you may remember this guy from an old video uh, that I got a little ZIF socket here that I could throw the chip into and I was using the USB uh, tiny ISP to program the bootloader. Uh, at one point, I even made this little guy here to uh, to program surface mount AT Megas. Um, so I've programmed hundreds of bootloaders, and uh, then one day I needed to program the bootloader into an AT Mega 2560, which is the chip used on the Arduino Mega, and this. ISB Tiny does not support that. So I started searching around and I came across this website here and this is Nick Gammon's uh, way to burn bootloaders. And he's come up with a really, really cool sketch here. And uh, I'll explain how this all works, but this is really incredible stuff here. So big uh, big shout out to Nick Gammon and this, uh, this whole uh, this whole breakdown and it's it's actually you can follow this directly and stop the video here if you wanted to but I'll walk you through how it all works but uh, this is really fantastic and the way this works is you go to the github page here and you pull down the 18 mega board programmer folder here throw that right into your sketches folder and then launch that and then you just burn this right into an Arduino standard Arduino okay you just upload this sketch right into it and then you wire it all up so this now becomes your pro programmer Arduino and then you're gonna have a target Arduino and you're gonna use the ICSP header here that you always see on all of these Arduino boards and that is the AVR programming header and you could if you've got one handy use a uh, six pin ribbon cable but I'm I'm sure most of you out there don't have this but if you had this you simply connect up the two connectors there. Uh, the reset pin on your programming header is not hooked up, but instead it's hooked up to the chip selector, slave select line um, uh, from your programming Arduino to the reset of your target Arduino. And I'm gonna explain all of that here in a second. So let me first show you the pinout of that programming header. And you can just, uh, search online for this or uh, so here's the official um, the official data sheet for the in-system uh, serial programming header and this kind of breaks it all down how it all works uh, but the Arduino boards follow this same pinout here so you see we've got MISO, VCC, clock, MOSI, reset and ground okay so you want to just hook all of these pins directly up so on your programmer board, the only pin you don't hook up is this reset line. Um, and if we go over here, I'm gonna pull the data sheet real quick up here. Okay, so if you pull open the data sheet here, you'll see that you've got those same pins on your target Arduino. So obviously you've got them on your, you know, the, the target Arduino. If you had another Arduino and you just put the chip into it, you can just tie those pins directly. But if you're gonna do it, where you've got your target Arduino down on a breadboard, then you've got a wire over from those pins to the chip. And you can see though that you've got, you know, MISO, uh, your, your clock line, 
you've got Miso Masi, and then you've got SS, which is your slave select line. And this from your programmer, uh, Arduino, goes over to the reset pin of your target Arduino. Okay, so that kind of explains you know, how it all works that the program, programmer Arduino takes control of the target Arduino via the reset line. The programmer Arduino is the master in the system. Okay, so anyway, let's, let's go ahead and wire this up. So assuming that you don't have the six pin uh, ribbon cable, you can just use standard wires like this and we're just gonna go ahead and follow this out. Okay, so pin one is uh, MISO. I'm looking for pin one here. Got MISO, let's plug all these in. And I actually made this little uh, cheat sheet board here and there's a link in the description below uh, for the wiki page I created for this. And uh, this has the, the, all of the pinout uh, text there for both the Arduino and, and I've talked about this in other videos too, but it's got the Arduino uh, pin, so digital pin, you know, 0 through 13. And it's also got the native AVR stuff that you see here in the data sheet. So it makes it really convenient when you're doing this sort of breadboard type work to see what all the pins are. And it also has the, uh, the in-circuit serial programming header uh, text on there as well. So I don't need to be flipping around at all here. I've got it all on this board. And I did screw one thing up. I hooked up reset on both of these, which I don't need to do. So let me just fix that real quick. Okay, so just to fix that up, let's take, we're gonna go from the chip select line, or sorry, the slave select pin over here and wire it over to the reset pin on the programming Arduino, or on the target Arduino, sorry. So that would be digital pin 10. There we go. And that should be it. So it's really important that you hook up, you know, that digital pin 10 over from the programming Arduino or the programmer Arduino directly to the reset pin on your target Arduino. And that should be... Okay, so let's load this sketch up. I'm gonna make sure that we got the Duemi Lenove. Uh, you can also use the Uno, it doesn't matter. I will say that this is a huge sketch, so um, it might take a little while for it to, to write to the board. Okay, so now we actually have the, we have the programmer Arduino code written. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and launch the serial monitor window. Um, and you'll see here it attempts to enter into the programming mode. It gets in there, we're good. It, sh it shows you the signature of the processor and some other information there. Um, and what we can do from here now is program one of two bootloaders. If we're running at eight megahertz, we can type in L um, and then enter. If we're running at 16 megahertz, we can, we can type in a U and then enter. One thing to keep in mind too, and this is one of those gotchas, if your target Arduino does not have a crystal present, you're gonna, you're gonna have problems getting into the programming mode over here. So make sure that you've got your target Arduino all wired up, everything good to go over there before you hook this all up. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and program the uh, 16 megahertz bootloader. Make sure you've got your new line and uh, carriage return set down here as well. And of course, we're running at 115.2 for the uh, serial monitor baud rate. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a choice to uh, verify or G to program. So we're gonna hit G, enter, and that's it. Did you guys see how fast that was? That's how fast it just burned the bootloader. So uh, that's it. So now we've got the bootloader written. Now let's see if it'll take a sketch with, uh, with it from within the, the Arduino IDE. Okay, so now that we have the bootloader programmed, uh, let's see if it'll actually take a sketch. So I've hooked up the USB to serial converter here. Um, I removed the reset line from the programmer so that 
this is not the programmer is not going to have any effect on the target Arduino and we could remove all of these wires but I also want to try burning another uh, bootloader here in a second but first let's test out the 16 megahertz bootloader here and make sure that it works and that this Arduino can now take a sketch directly from the Arduino IDE so up here we've got uh, just an example sketch pulled right out of the uh, the example folder it's just going to blink an LED on pin 13 so one of the things you have to do is change your target board here to uh, Arduino Mini. And that's one of the tricky things too, is you gotta pick which board it is and make sure that that lines up with whatever bootloader you loaded in. And sometimes it doesn't seem to always match with what the text shows you when you're actually programming the bootloader. But I found that for that one, the Arduino Mini works. So let's go ahead and make sure we get that, the serial port hooked up and let's let it rip. Okay, and there it goes, it's programming. We got done uploading and it is blinking. So that worked. Now let's let's try burning the eight megahertz bootloader. Okay, launching the serial monitor window again. Let's change the port back now. Launch the serial monitor window. Okay, we're back in. Now we're gonna try changing it to the eight megahertz. So we're gonna hit L, enter, and go ahead and G that to program. And there it goes, done. Okay, so that was pretty fast. Now let's disconnect this. And of course I should change the crystal, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. But pretend there's an eight megahertz crystal down there. We'll pull the reset line, put the uh, USB to serial programmer back in plug that guy in and now if I went to um, if I went to upload this right now with the mini selected it wouldn't work you actually have to go now to Arduino Pro and then go down to 328.33 at 8 megahertz okay and don't worry about the voltage it, it doesn't matter all right, pick the right serial port and let's go and let this rip now and see if it works. Okay, there it goes. It's programming and it's done. So that's it. That's how you program the bootloader. Uh, one thing I will say though is that if you get a successful burn of the, of the bootloader from the programmer Arduino, and you can't seem to get it to take a sketch then after, make sure that you go through all of these boards first because you know maybe you've, maybe for example, you've picked uh, the AT Mega uh, dash AU or something like that, not the P version of, or the Pico Power version of the Arduino or of the uh, AT Mega 328. So that's one of those things to keep in mind as well. So. Uh, Make sure you try all of these before you completely give up on it. So again, a huge shout out to Nick Gammon for putting this all together because this is just uh, fantastic. In fact, one of the things I, I've done is just one of my cheater boards, I have a dedicated uh, programmer. So this is always ready to go and I use it to program all of my AT Megas and I just always have this running the uh, Nick Gammon's sketch here. So. That's it. So uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for watching.